Hello. Hello, Brad. Hey, Have a seat. Thank you. Fine, and you? Yeah, you're all right. Uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, what a Christmas, eh? It is. Yeah. Uh, do you like it in Sweden? You seem to be coming back all the time. I love Sweden. Yeah, it's um, it's a, it's a great country. It's like um, it's always been the first. It was always one of the first European countries to uh, to get into Suede, get into the band, and um, fans are always great. You know. So and you have a strong are following and, here, and yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I think it's, uh, like the whole of Scandinavia is a really special place musically. I think because it's like um, I think that, that that generally Scandinavian people take the music really seriously, but really enjoy it at the same mm -hmm. time. You know, it's a tradition. Think, we could, we've always had a strong uh, sure, connection you know, with the British pop scene. Yeah, but you know, I think there's a there's a there's a tendency in in, in lots of other parts of in places like Britain, especially where. Um, you tend to have these divisions where you know a pop, is, pop is seen is looked down on by lots of people, and mm -hmm. I think in Scandinavia, you know, you treat it as an art form, which it is. Do you feel looked down on, or have you felt looked down? On? Um, well, I mean, the British, the, the British media, the whole British media is very uh, is very vitriolic sometimes and kind of quite vicious, but you kind of like you just have to learn to live with that and uh, get through it. Do you feel confident as a band now? Um, yeah. I think so. I mean, it's kind of like we've been together for a long time. Uh, we started uh, um, kind of over ten years ago now. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, lots of that time was spent playing to two people and a dog and a pub, you know, and things like yeah. that. We spent a lot of time um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, playing to people with, and no one was listening. You know, it's like. Yeah. But, uh, Are you well updated on the Swedish music scene? Any, any bands you like particularly? Yeah, I mean, I like all those bands. Like, the Car I think the Cardigans are a really great band. Yeah. We've, we, 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 we're always playing with them. We're always bumping into them. I've done loads of festivals. They're very nice people, and I think they, they write some really excellent pop music. I think they, they've got that. They've got that. Um, they've got that ability to actually kind of like construct a really, a really, you know, coherent pop song. And like the, the way they arrange it, I think is really. Is really economical and excellent as well, okay. and uh, there's a, uh, the, uh, the Wanna Dies as well. I think they've got some good okay. tunes. So yeah. Anderson is a very Swedish name. It's one of the most common Swedish names, actually. Uh, yeah. Any Swedish relations? No. I don't know actually. Um, <laughs> none, Not none, that you know none of. None that I know of. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's actually a Scottish. It's, it's a Scottish version of yeah. it. But I think what happened hundreds and thousands of years ago was that yeah, it goes back you to lot the Vikings, came in, you lot <laughs> came and oh, raped my great great grandmother and. Uh, okay. You know, that's a barrier in a Y-shaped coffin. Do you feel it's nice to to return back to uh, Britain after a heavy tour to write new songs? Yeah, I mean, it's it, tour, touring's great, but it's it, it, it can really sort of do your head in sometimes. Yeah. And uh, I'm really excited about making the next record. It's kind of like it's the thing that's really obsessing me, and uh, it's going to be a very exciting record. I'm going to try and capture some of the sort of like the live vibe we've been getting hold of in the in the European tour and stuff like that, and try and try and just make a record that's just full of energy. Where do you go to settle down and write new songs? Where do you find peace um, and inspiration? I find a lot of inspiration in London because uh, just sort of, I, I, do, I have this sort of habit of, of writing, um, of kind of like wandering out onto the streets and uh, taking a dictaphone with me and, like, and, and a piece of paper and stuff like that and just writing things down that I come across and getting inspired by just, um, you know, everyday life I think really. But I kind of uh, have, a, have a notion to to, to write um, some of this album kind of like buried away in the countryside. Yeah. Try it a different way. Mm. It seems to me you had a nice time in the studio uh, when you made the head music. There are lots of interesting sounds and rhythms. Mm. And uh, do you feel the urge to explore new grounds still? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of like we're always really learning as a band. I think we're kind of quite um, open-minded as well. We've always. Uh, we're always checking out new bands and, and you know, and wanting to really... I mean, the, the, one of the beautiful things about doing what we do is it, you kind of, like, have the right attitude to it. You can just... you can be like a kid again, you know, and that's great. I kind of, like, sometimes feel really grateful that I haven't... I've, I've probably got sort of mental age of about 12. <laughs> is that true? Which is great, you know, because it's like... I'm, I feel kind of quite young and optimistic about the world. You still feel very curious. Yeah. About things. No, lots of people would probably say stupid, but you know. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, I didn't say you would. <laughs> no. Do you, do you like to uh, to uh, celebrate a traditional British Christmas? Uh, yeah, I kind of have this 
a traditional. I go down and visit my dad. He lives at, uh, sort of outside London, mm -hmm. and I go and spend um, a couple of days with him. And that, that's always kind of quite entertaining because he's a bit of a character. My dad is like, a, he's a bit of a, bit of a, a kind of like, a, just a, a very, a very extreme person. So what do you do? Pull crackers and things? Yeah, we pull crackers and we <laughs> we argue about music most of the time and. Uh, we sit there around a, around a dinner table with uh, silly hats on and things like that. We do what most families do, you know. And then I normally go on holiday for a bit, get out of it, and go lie in the sun for a bit. That sounds very nice. It is nice, yeah. I mean, I kind of like. I do, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the sun. I think it's. I think it's kind of like prime. So good luck to you in the future, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, Brett Anderson.